A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, here I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, go do whatever you have in mind for the Lord is with you. But that, that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build a house, build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my father my God, the rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Be blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the home and house of his servant David. Through his prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of those who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Our first reading today lets us know that the Savior of the world comes through the line of David. David, a very wise ruler, knows what he has to do as he sits there in his house. Even though he has been victorious, he knows that there is a lot of factions out there. He knows that the kingdoms may be divided. And so he wants to bring it all together, a wise decision. So he says, I shall build a house for the Lord, meaning there will be one central place where we will all gather. The Ark of the Covenant will be there. The Ark of the Covenant and a building which holds people together. That's what holds them, the Ark. They will come for that. It brings them together. What is it that brings us together? Is it Jesus? Does Jesus bring us together as Christian people, as a Christian nation? Is he the one that brings all of us into one whole family? That is what Zechariah is predicting in our second reading. And that is what we believe, that Jesus is the one who brings us together. And as we gather poorly, during this Christmas season, our families come together. Hopefully, there is peace in all these families. They come together as one. And Jesus is the one who brings us all together. For the whole church on this eve of the Savior's birth, that our blessed mother, who kept the first advent with such immaculate purity and expectation, may guide our final preparations, we pray. That the one who is the dawn from on high may break upon us and guide our feet into the ways of peace, we pray. That God, who built an enduring dynasty for King David, may build up in each of our hearts a throne for himself that will stand firm forever, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, grieving, poor, lonely, or in financial distress on this eve of Christmas, that in Jesus' name, hearts and hands may reach out to them in respect and love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, that they may spend this Christmas rejoicing in heaven with the angels and the one who came to save us all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Warren Dufresne, Tom Allison, 
Steve Grover, Eileen Schneider, Sarah Sakel, Liam Murphy, Alan Burgess, Whitney Wheeland Benton, Renee Pitzer, Fred Joseph, Reggie Vachon, Carol Fernandez, Linda Moore Garrett, Brandon Sakel, and those in our prayer list and book of intentions, we pray. For the cause of Jean-Claude Collin, founder of the Maris for Sainthood, we pray. Father, most holy, through your beloved 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the blood of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and if you willingly and to his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. and 
אחרון הדוברים.